So hello everybody and welcome to another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. In today's DAX Fridays we are going to talk about the Koala function. Koala, Koalas? Koala? Koalas function? I call it the Koala function. And uh, I thought I was going to hate it. I don't, I just hate the name. The function is actually very, very, very useful. And um, hopefully after this video you think the same too. Um, the thing that I don't like is the name. It's a horrible name. It's a horrible name. And I was wondering, why would I call it like that? There has to be another product. It is in SQL. Here's the thing. If Power BI is going to be a business intelligence tool for for social service, you know, which I believe, obviously, is for both IT and, and business, but it was born as a business tool. If it's going to continue to be a business tool, this is a bad name. Call it if blank. Why would you call it anything else? And I hope in the future they don't call functions like they're called in SQL just because. Ask the Excel team how to call a function. They know. They know. The horrible name. Change it if possible. Still, let me stop the rant and start the video so you can see how good, useful this function actually is. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you a few examples of what you can do with it. Um, the first one will be let me show you. I, we have here a list of fruits and we have the quantity. The quantity in here is um, uh, column. And if we want to make, create a measure for it, we would just do the sum of here, the sum. If you put that into the list, you probably already know that the coconut is going to disappear because there is a blank. And you normally want to do that. Uh, you know, you don't want to render things that do not have any value. Why would you do that? But sometimes you do want to do C for whatever reason. I sometimes, especially when troubleshooting, want to know if there is any blanks. So what you would normally do is you would use the if is blank, right? So you say if total quantity is blank, zero, or otherwise total quantity. Or I've shown you this trick on one of my hacks videos. You can actually do... Uh, quantity zero you can do total quantity and then plus zero and that will actually do the exact same thing okay again don't abuse it because you don't want to render things that are blank all the time sometimes you do sometimes you don't use it constantly <laughs> now you can use the new koala function to do that so quantity Koala, and then we're going to do ko koala, and then you put the total quantity, no, total quantity, and then you put zero. So it says basically if total blank, if total quantity is blank, then the next value, which in this case we're telling it is zero, we put it in there. And voila, we get the exact same results. So you have three ways to do the same thing. Very common in DAX, always. So here you have the the explanation of Microsoft documentation. It says that you can stack a bunch of expressions and then it will evaluate them. If this is blank, we'll go to the next. If the next is blank, it will go to the next and so on and so forth until it finds something. If it doesn't find anything, everything is blank, so it will return blank. Good. Case two. Here's the thing. Now, what happens if I have multiple blanks? So for example, here I have a blank on coconut for quantity and I have a factor that we're going to multiply just because I want to show you what happens. We have on apples also a factor that is blank. So if we create a total sales width factor that you can see here, which is, let me show you, it's just multiplying quantity, price and factor, nothing else. And all of these are the sums of you're going to see that apple and coconut disappear because there are blanks on it. And we don't want that. In this case, I want that if factor is blank, I actually want to, to have still quantity times price. So how do we do it? Now, here we have a few ways to manage that. And one way to do it is to actually create a the way we would do it without this little function it is let me show you 
total sales with factor. So what we're saying here is that if the factor is blank, then do total, total quantity times total price, otherwise do all three. And then if we put it into our table, you are going to see that it's giving us the value for apples too, even if, though there is a blank. So then I was thinking, oh, how do you, how would you write that using the new Koala function? And uh, this is how you do. So total sales Koala would be total price times total quantity times. Now this is where we put the if condition, but instead of putting the if condition, we put the koala function. So we say if total factor is blank, then one. It says multiply by one. And we put it in there. And it, obviously the, the syntax for this is actually easier. Imagine if instead of being called koala, it was called if blank. If blank total factor, then one. It's called Koala. I still can't get over it. It's just such a bad name. Okay, now the last one, because it has to be a better case than for that, because the SQL BI guys told us actually, I don't know if you've seen it, I have to show you. So the guys at SQL BI, they actually wrote here at the end, they have an article of it, and it says that performance wise, Koala is actually, performance is exactly the same as if. And we've been told a thousand times that if you wanna have a good performance, don't use if, use switch. So maybe we should do switch instead of if or koala. <laughs> Food for thought. But in a way of writing it is actually, once you understand it, it's actually a little bit easier. But I found an example here with this skill servertutorial.net where they have actually a very useful case where writing this with if or switch it would be a bit hairy. So you have here employees ID and then some have hourly rates, some have weekly rates, some monthly rates. So if you want to calculate everything it will look quite nasty with if you want to do that with Koala it looks actually very very simple which is like that. So you see, there are actually good things that comes with it, but imagine if you would say if blank hour, mm -mm, month, mm -mm, it, it, I would think that it's easier to read. Stop ranting, Ruth. But please, in the future, think about the name of the DAX measures. If this is truly going to be a product for business users, if there is switching to being an IT product, let us know and I will complain anymore basically. Um, this is all for today. No, 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 no. We are going to uh, answer question two from the exam, you know, the Power BI exam certification, and then ask question three, which is going to be a tax question, obviously. <laughs>